They say cooking can be an art. But in China, when it comes to noodles, it can also be an acrobatic feat. At this restaurant chain, noodles are stretched above heads and hit floors. Impressive, yes. Appealing, debatable. How important are noodles to the diet here in China? In northern China, they're extremely important. Jen Lin Liu is an author and restaurateur who wrote the book, well, a book about noodles. It's part history, part self-help. You know, I could kind of relate to the noodle. How so? How do you relate to the noodle? Because it's Eastern and Western, it's both. The Chinese-American Lin Lu and her chef Zhang showed me how to make noodles at their Beijing restaurant, Black Sesame Kitchen. In 2010, she set out to follow the ancient silk, in this case, noodle road, from China through Central Asia and across the Mediterranean. It was a quest to determine where the noodle was born and to answer culinary questions like why does the Italian ravioli look so similar to the Chinese dumpling? For pretty much almost every shape you see in Italian pasta, you see that in Chinese pasta. There were also those kitchen tall tales to weed out, like the one about explorer Marco Polo bringing noodles from China to Italy. It turns out that the Marco Polo story is really a myth. Um, Italians were eating pasta before the birth of uh, the Venetian explorer. Much more plausible, perhaps, is that Genghis Khan's army carried simple-to-cook portable dumplings around, spreading them all the way from Korea to Europe. Uh, west, uh, yes, east. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. These yeah, days, north. any mention of the noodle history noodle leads to this yeah. man. Well, you, uh, Professor uh, Ho uh, Yuan uh, Liu of Beijing's uh, Chinese uh, Academy uh, of uh, Sciences. He showed us pictures of what he claimed was an archaeology site in central China where a bowl of noodles was unearthed. According to his tests, it dates back 4,000 years. But how can it really be 4,000 years old? A layer of mud sealed the bowl, he claimed. It isolated the noodle from the air. This is where the noodle is kept? Yeah. He agreed to show us. Behind lock and key and inside a safe, there it was. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so this is, this is really all that's left. I take special care of it, the professor said. It's like an old friend. Now it seems China has the oldest noodle. Back at her restaurant, author Jen Lin Liu said she believed while China had the oldest noodle, there were likely parallel pasta cultures in China and the Middle East. Yes, they're very affordable. But all of that and, history um, seemed like a footnote when presented with a hot bowl of fresh noodles um, mixed with egg and tomato. This is the type of thing you'd eat in, in northern China. Yes, and you got to smell it before you eat it. Mmm, it smells yes. good. And Ooh, and you, you got to do slurp the slurp. <laughs> <laughs> Slurping imparts flavor, I was told. Though I clearly lacked the technique to really get it. <laughs> What is he telling me? He's saying, that's how Westerners eat. <laughs> so delicately. <laughs> Though purists prefer homemade, at this Beijing Noodle Academy, we saw a robot take over the task. It wasn't clear if the robot's flashing eyes would enhance flavor. When it comes to making noodles in China, there's no underestimating the importance of one ingredient, drama.